last two years I got involved in a project um, that I've continued doing, um, which wasn't photographic at all. I was uh, dealing with public space issues and um, public advertising's effect on uh, the public environment and our psyche and um, kind of the general community psyche, um, and how, how it kind of trickles down that uh, in all of us. And so the first project I did was um, this subway project where I made these posters and then went around to different stations and just completely plastered every single advertisement within that station. And they ranged from anywhere from like 30 posters to like up to like 150 posters within just one, you know, little platform station. Which even when I started doing it, I was kind of, I, you know, I lived in New York City all my life, but I really had no idea. I never stopped like count, like how many advertisements are in this one station? How many messages am I getting? Um, even when I just entered this one tiny little space within the city. Uh, and so having to post over all of them made me start to count them and start to realize it was pretty intense. And the nice thing is when I do get caught, I'm like graffiti artists, um, since I'm not destroying any um, personal property, kind of, I'm destroying corporate property, the cops are much more lenient with me. And um, they often, I like give them my spiel and they often understand and then totally are like, oh man, I still gotta write you the summons. And then they'll write me a summons and I have to go into the judge and then the judge is like, he gives me six months probation and then my record gets wiped clean after that. So there's no kind of record of it if I don't do it. I try to repeat the performance within the six months. So I've been caught several times and they still, to this day, kind of, I'm without a record, which is great. The system, the advertising system here um, is kind of ruled by a few different companies and they're very, um, they, pr they practice a serious nepotism and with people within the company are very, um, against what I do, like I've been like, kind of like yelled at by people who are in the companies and I've asked them to like buy their, you know, the keys and stuff like that and offered them like $500 in cash right there and they won't do it. It's totally insane. They're really into the company. I, I really have no problem with advertising. I think it's a very important part of our society. Um, it it's, provides a form of social cohesion that I don't think we could exist without. Um, it, it defines who you are, or you define yourself against it in a lot of ways. It's very important. Uh, it, it pushes art and culture um, these days, at least, because it is the paramount um, visual medium. Uh, but uh, my, my gripe is not with advertising, it's with its use of public space, its use of an environment that should be a public environment, not a private environment. And when you start using it for private commercial concerns, you relegate that environment to a, a, a private interest. And, uh, and that's where it goes wrong. The, the thing that upsets me about advertising in the public environment is that it really kind of, I feel like it shuts down communication, that it becomes a, uh, a mode of, of, um, of kind of big brother, t or not big brother, that's a terrible word for it, but the mode of, a mode of um, some sort of larger entity speaking down to you or speaking to you and giving you only one message and not, not allowing any sort of communication back to right. you as an individual and that possibly manipulating as pot well. very yeah you know, yes obviously manipulating but at the same time um, even if it's not manipulating if there's there's no discussion involved in it which is a very unpublic process you know public when you think about the word public you think about communication and, and um, cooperation and things of that nature um, and so if those if that type of images or imagery kind of um, takes over your environment, then that becomes how you interact with your environment. You start to shut down against it. As a New Yorker, I know I don't want to be seeing all these things, so I try my best to kind of not look at it. And that ends up kind of uh, infiltrating the way I in interact with my public environment in general, not just necessarily the images, but the people as well. So once I have to shut down to so much of my public environment, then I start shutting down to other areas because I don't want to be affected right. in this manipulative way. So I start to kind of back off from that. And I think that's the really, the, the sad part of of how all this, you know, imagery really starts to, to make people or cause people to interact with their environment in this, this kind of subpar way. And that when you start to do things on the street, like what I'm doing or, or what Aaron's doing, drawing, you know, drawing on the street and just talking to people, that you start to kind of um, build that communication back and that, that becomes really important. That becomes a, an event in somebody's life that they, they become, they think about, they attach themselves to, they think about you after they've passed you at that point. You, you, um, it kind of roots you in the, in the place that you're living, which is really important.